Hey guys, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thank you guys for stopping by. Got another beer review. This is going to be a beer from uh, Untitled Art. Again, I say that every time. Uh, but this is going to be their Hazier Triple IPA. This comes in at 9.5%. Um, and this one was canned on... May 26th, so we're just over a month old. Um, I just saw this the other day at my local store and was like, oh, I'm going to get this because everything Untitled Art does is good. Um, I expect this to be no different. So let's go ahead and get in the can. Uh, they don't put any info on the um, Untapped or anything like that. Um, it is getting a 4.13. Um, so good stuff there. We'll see if it uh, lives up to some of the other triple IPAs out there. We'll leave a little bit in there. So, um, yeah, I mean, it looks like a New England IPA. Um, maybe a little more uh, gold, a little more darker gold um, or deeper gold. It's got a finger ahead there. But, uh, yeah, nice looking beer in the glass. Um I wonder, I mean, I kind of expected it to leave some alcohol legs or some lacing, but it looks like it's just going to completely go away. I mean, just, that's crazy. All right, um, so yeah, I guess deep gold color, uh, finger ahead. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, citrusy. It's nothing crazy, though. It's not like exploding out of the glass, um, you know, like the... Uh, one we did the other day from Equilibrium, that one was insane. Um, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about this. So, uh, yeah, you get like a nice uh, maltiness to it. Not, and I, I always have to cover myself when I say maltiness because I don't want it to sound like we're talking about like, you know, like a, a an amber ale or something like that. Like it's not like, um, it's not like crystal maltiness. It's not caramel malt. Um, it's just got like a, a breadiness to it. And uh, you can get that along with the hops. The hops, uh, I mean, they're not, like I said, they're not like exploding. Um, it's kind of just like a generic uh, citrus, you know, like grapefruit, orange. Uh, and then it's got that little bit of like pineapple that you usually get out of a New England style IPA. Um, I, I do get a little bit of like a melon character as well. Maybe the slightest bit of like peach. So, yeah, uh, I mean, it smells good. Um, let's go ahead and taste it. Tastes nice. Nice beer. Though it, it still kind of rides along that genericness. Like, it's not like. Um, there's nothing like one. Uh, flavor that's sticking out. It, it's just kind of like a mixture of all those things, um, which which is why I say it's like a generic New England IPA taste. That's what it tastes like, um, which is not a bad thing. It's just like, you know, nothing is standing out, really. I will say the mouthfeel is very, very creamy and smooth. Um, it does not drink like a 9.5 percenter. Um, I mean, you can kind of take that back a little bit. Um, it does have a little bit of that, like, I guess it's the malt character you're getting, um, like a residual sweetness that hangs out in there that kind of makes you think it might be, um, a little bit higher in alcohol content, but I, I don't want to say it drinks like nine and a half percent because it, it, it's easier to drink than that. It's got a nice, like, generic, again, generic, like, juice quality to it, like a New England style has. So, it's, it's well done. It tastes great, but uh, it's just nothing like, I don't know. The best way I can think to put it is, is just, it, it, nothing stands out on it. Um, it kind of tastes like a beer that you may have had before, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's not taken away from the beer, you know, or I'm not meaning to. 
um, because I would gladly drink this again. I would gladly buy it again. Um, so, yeah, it, it's fine. Um, you know, it's got that nice, like, light carbonation that you would expect on a New England IPA. Uh, it's got the creamy mouthfeel. It's got the nice, like, hop and juice characteristics to it. Um, but it's just like a one-time, one-note type thing. Um, just think of a New England IPA and what it tastes like. Gen like, just, you know, the most average, um, you know, take all the New England IPAs you've had and, like, average all those, <laughs> like, flavors together, and then that's what you get with this. No, I do get, like, a little bit of, like, a spicy note or something. I don't know if they're maybe using some, like, Australian hops in here or something that might lend off a little bit of, like, a spiciness. Um, but, yeah, I mean, nothing crazy. It, it's a good taste in beer. I'm um, happy to have it. I'm happy to drink it. And uh, I would probably buy it again. So um, that's the, you know, most I can give as a recommendation. Um, so if you guys have had it, though, you could let me know what you thought of it. And uh, we can talk about it. So, um, yeah, guys, if you like this video, um, leave a like. You know, also a comment and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.